Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Uh, we've been taking a look at some uh, basics for uh, upper, upper level uh, mathematics. Uh, what we're going to take a look at today is uh, matrices, the basics of uh, matrix operations. Uh, they're really important in uh, linear algebra applications in uh, differential equations and calculus as well. Uh, so we're going to start off, we're going to take a look at uh, matrix addition and scalar multiplication. Very basic operations, they're very similar to uh, vector addition and scalar multiplication. Uh, we'll start looking at matrix addition. Um, you add matrices component-wise, so um, basically what that means is whatever entry in uh, one, the first matrix and whatever entry in the second matrix in the same uh, position, those are added together to uh, form the resultant matrix. Uh, the result will be in the same position in the resultant. So we have M by N matrices A and B. M by N simply means M rows and columns. And uh, we have A plus B equals C. Uh, the resultant matrix is also an M by N matrix. Uh, and as I said, AIJ plus BIJ equals CIJ, uh, where AIJ denotes uh, the number in matrix A in the ith row in the jth column. Same with B, and as you can see, they add together component-wise uh, to get CIJ. Um, because of this, you can't add matrices that are of different sizes. Uh, so if someone asks you to add a 2 by 3 to a 3 by 2, that's not possible. Uh, so we're going to take a look at just some basic examples here. Uh, we have matrix A1, 2, 6, 1, 4, negative 3, 3. Matrix B, uh, negative 7, 1, negative 8, 2, 5, 3. Uh, A1 plus B1, we're just going to add component-wise. So you have 2 plus negative 7, 6 plus 1, etc. So the resultant matrix uh, comes out to negative 5, 7, negative 7, 6, 2, 6. Um, now we're going to take a look at uh, A1 minus B1, uh, very similar to uh, vectors, how we chose to do uh, A plus a negative B. Uh, it just makes a little more sense to uh, multiply the negative 1 through the matrix and then add them. So it's going to be 2 plus 7. So that's going to be 9, 6 minus 1, 1 plus 8, and then 4 minus 2, negative 3 minus 5, and uh, 3 minus 3. And the resultant matrix uh, A, plus, A1 plus negative B1, 9, 5, 9, 2, negative 8, 0. I'll take another look at a 3 by 1 matrix here. A2, 6, 4, 8, and B2, negative 3, 5, 12. Again, just add component-wise. And the resultant matrix is also a 3 by 1 matrix, 3, 9, negative 4. So now we're going to take a look at uh, scalar multiplication. Again, very sim uh, similar to uh, vector scalar multiplication. You do it component-wise, so um, we have NA, where uh, A is an M by N matrix equals B, which is also an M by N matrix, and the entries of B, uh, BIJ, are going to be just N times each entry AIJ. Uh, so we'll just take a look at uh, some examples. It's easy, easiest to demonstrate scalar multiplication through that. So we have 3 times A1, remember A1, over here, uh, all you do is multiply each component by 3. So the resultant matrix is also a 2 by 3 matrix, 6, 18, 3, 12, negative 9, 9. Uh, negative 2 times B2. Uh, it's, again, going to be a 3-by-1 uh, matrix. And the result is uh, 6, negative 10, 24. And last, we'll look at 4 times A1. So, again, just multiply A1 component-wise by 4.
and the resultant matrix, again, another two by three matrix, eight, 24, four, 16, negative 12, 12. So uh, again, matrix uh, addition and scalar multiplication, very simple, make sure you're doing it component wise and uh, make sure that you're always adding matrices of this, uh, matrices of the same size. Thank you for watching. For more math videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel here or for additional resources, including affordable digital textbooks, please visit centerofmath.org.